Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. Apologies if I'm feeling a bit croaky. It's finally happened after about oh, dodging this about two years I've got COVID. I'm on around about day six or seven now and I've done a test this morning. Let's have a come up to the camera here, have a look. And it is still about as positive as it is positive to be. And it's a bit rotten because it's Mother's Day and I can't go and see my mum and I can't sort of look after my wife, my wee boy and things like that because I've been feeling pretty, pretty grim over the past the past few days. I mean, I've had I've had two days off work this week and that's the first time I've had days off work probably about five or six years so it's been it's been pretty awful and apologies <coughs> if i if i cough over sneeze or anything like that whilst i'm filming uh i'm just feeling a bit a bit grotty but it's not all doom and gloom i thought i can't get up to the plot i can't do much around here it's been absolutely beautiful weather for the past week or so around here it's supposed to get bad next week but this week's been absolutely lovely and even the cat's about to appear around here having a whale of a time in the sunshine but what I thought I'd do is I haven't done one of these for for a couple of weeks I thought I'd show you around uh, how things are going in the little greenhouse over here the little greenhouse over there been sewing some new stuff and we'll have a look at the stuff that's going indoors we've got the chilies we've got the sweet peppers and we've got the aubergines on the go as well so we'll have a we'll have a quick look over them so first of all these were just done yesterday um, so we've got a few different things here. These are mainly lettuces, sort of salad leaves and things that are on the go. So nothing's shown the heads yet, like I say, they've only just been done. So we've got Barcelona lettuce, that is a type of iceberg lettuce. We've got Canasta, that was recommended by one of our viewers. Apologies, I can't remember who recommended it. But I do look at the comments and read these things and see what you recommend. So we've got some of that on the go. We've got some little gems. We've got something called salad ball mix and some Lolo Rosa there to add some colour into it. So we'll pop them over there. I'll try not to spill them all on the on the chairs. We're in the back garden here, by the way. This is something you don't really see very often. So I'm just sitting in the little chairs, and you can see all the different flowers and things, and the daffodils and the snowdrops and stuff starting to come up behind me. And there's some some rhubarb over there. You might just be able to see it's doing well at the moment. So yeah, somewhere different for you to see for a change. So in in this tra tray here, we've got some Clapton collie. Uh, we've got some Veronica cauliflower. We've got some beetroot, which is the bold hardy one, the favourite one. That's a great grower, that one. And over here, we've got some spring onions. The spring onions and the beetroot have both been multi-sown, so they sort of grow in bunches when I put them in and transfer them over. So that's the new things that's been sown. So hopefully most of them, I'll have them inside to begin with, just so they get a little bit of warmth and poke the heads up, and then they get moved into the greenhouses. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll come over there, I'll grab you off the little... I would say the tripod normally, but you're actually attached to a swing ball at the moment. So I'll come over there and grab the camera off the swing ball. We'll have a look around the greenhouses and then we'll have a look inside at the things that are on the go in there. Back with you in just a jiffy. So this is the first of the mini greenhouses. We've got the broad beans here. They took ages to germinate. They were really slow, but like you can see now, we've had a bit of good weather, bit of sunshine, bit of warmth, and they're absolutely flying. And we've got them in these uh, container-wise deep root trainers. So as soon as I'm allowed out of COVID jail, these will be getting planted out straight away because they need to go out, they need more space and whatnot. So we'll be getting them moved on. These are the Zebrun shallots, I think. Yeah, so they're, they're starting to thicken up nicely there. They're nice and long, but they're starting to get, get some width from them there. So again, they'll, they'll not be a million miles off being gone out, actually. Let's move down here to the next shelf to see what we've got on the go. This is some rocket over here. I sort of missed the germination on it. It got, it got a bit leggy. So I've put it into these little cell trays here. I've only got, there's only seven there. I don't want loads and loads of that on the go. So we've just got about seven on the go there. And what do we have over here? This here is the Cosmic Crimson Crush or whatever it was called. The ones, the sort of jazzy looking salad lettuce mix that we got from Baker Creek Importer from America. So that's germinated pretty well. There's only sort of one or two cells there that haven't germinated. In the middle there we have got, oh I can't even read my own writing, let's have a look at that. We've got the Brussels sprouts and at the end there we've got some of the sort of purple top turn up on the go. And if you wonder what's on the bottom shelf, it's just some, some different little flowers. I think they're all pansies. And we've gone from a yellow and a sort of purpley blue colour because I'm making little Ukrainian flags in the planters there, which my son Robbie was really keen to do. So we picked up some of them from B&M the other day and we're putting them out in the planters. Anyway, we'll have a, we'll a mosin over to the other greenhouse and we'll see what's going on over there. 
Right, so there's not too much going on inside the little plastic greenhouse at the top here. We've still got our Bedfordshire Champion onions. They're coming on great guns. Again, I think I mentioned last time I faffed around with sticks and clips. That was completely pointless because I'm not going to be showing them anything like that. They're just going to be grown for us eating. So that was a complete and utter waste of time. But they're still, they're still grown pretty well. And we'll move down here. We've got the sweet peas on the go. Again, they're grown pretty well. And over here as well, they're going pretty good. And again, we've got the deep root trainers, which are important for any sort of anything from that sort of pea or bean kind of family that you want to be grown. Deep root trainers are absolutely the way forward. And moving down here, last but not least, inside the little greenhouse, we've got some leeks on the go there. And if I spin this tray around, I'll be able to tell you what type they are. They are Leon Prize Taker. That's what type of leeks they are. So they are. They're okay. They're nowhere near thick enough going out yet. They're going to be inside the little greenhouse for quite a while yet. It's a little bit... It's not as sunny over in this little greenhouse yet because we've got the fence behind it. But very soon the little greenhouse is going to be getting moved to the other side of the garden. Near the other one, so it'll be getting loads of sunshine all the way through the day. Righty-ho. That's the little greenhouses outside done. What I'll do now is I'll scoot inside the house and we'll have a look under the two sets of grow lights and we'll see what's going on inside there. Tighty, so this is under the first set of grow lights. I've turned the lights off because from the last time they give off this really sort of bright purpley sort of glow and it's really difficult to see uh, with the camera on top of them how they look. So these two first couple of rows over here, that's a type of sweet pepper. It's an unusual variety and I won't even pretend I can pronounce the name but it grows really sort of long and thin and looks really cool so we've got some of them on the go these are white aubergines on the go in the middle here and I've planted way too many of them so I'll be giving plenty of them away I've got some more sweet peppers over there in the corner again I can't remember what they are there's only two germinated out of all of them which isn't particularly good but they're uh, they're still there there's still two of them so we'll, we'll bring them on and this little tray here has only just been moved up here yesterday that's some uh, some sun gold tomatoes that have only just germinated, so they're going to be under the lights there. Right, so let's move upstairs and we'll have a look in the cupboard underneath the main grow light there. Actually, one quick thing before we have a look under the grow light, on the window sill in here, this gets the best sun throughout the day. So we've only just put these out, these have only just germinated. So we've got cucumbers here, these ones are mini munch. We've got some tomatoes here, they're Crimson Crush. These ones are the Carmen Cucumbers. And these ones here, more tomatoes. These are Brad's Atomic Grape. These have only just been moved up here yesterday or today. They will be shortly potted on in the individual pots and moved under the main grow lights, which we will move swiftly on to now. All right, so here we are in the sort of main indoor grown space. So at the front here, these are the King of the North Sweet Peppers, and they're going great guns. Back here, these are the Habanero Big Sun, that's what they're called, those a kind of chilli pepper there. And they were planted first, so the, the different types of chilies were all done first. That's these ones, these ones, and these ones. So these ones, these sweet peppers here, and the aubergines here are a good couple of weeks behind the chilies anyway. So back here, these are all called Basket of Fire, and you might be able to see there that some of them have even got flowers on them already, so I'm going to have to nurture them really carefully just to make sure we'll look after those flowers. And at the front here, these chilies over here on the left, they're chocolate doula. And over here, these are some aubergines. These are, let's have a look at the label, Moneymaker F1. And we've got a few of them on the go. And one quick thing to mention here about the, the grow light that we're using here. This is the good old Spider Farmer SF1000. So when everything was potted on, these used to be just in the little green trays. And when they were potted on, obviously now it's taken up a whole lot more room in here. And the great thing about this is, you can just pull on these cords, it raises the height of the light up. And with the little sort of adjustable dial here where you can adjust the sort of intensity or the brightness of the light, as you move it up, you just crank the brightness up and it covers a bigger footprint underneath. So when I had a smaller footprint, we had it turned down and that helped to save power. Not that these use a lot of electricity, mind, they don't use a lot of power. And when I've raised the height of it up, we've turned the power of the light up. And again, at the moment, that's only at about 60% there. So, you know, that's about 70. So it's covering all the all the plants there that we need to do underneath that gap. So they're looking absolutely great guns. Anyway, what I'll do now is I'll head back downstairs and we'll get finished up. 
Right, that's me just about done for this one, folks. Hopefully you've enjoyed that update of what's sort of sown and grown at the moment, what's, what's under the lights, how things are sort of getting on. Hopefully I wasn't too out of puff or breathless during that video. It's one of the side effects of this this sort of COVID thing leaves me quite uh, out of puff from time to time, shall we say. But most of the effects like the, the snotty nose, the sore throat, the headache, all that sort of stuff, that's all been and gone, thankfully. So hopefully... I'm starting to come out the other end of it. And as such, on the back of that, hopefully I'll get some more videos done. We'll be back up with the plot as soon as this is out of the way and done with. As soon as I'm out of COVID jail, we'll get up there and get some more stuff done. I've got the first early potatoes to get on the go and go out. And very, very soon after that, because they've been delayed a little bit, the, the second earlies and the, the main crop has to be going out. And some of the stuff will be sprouting. Like I say, the broad beans are ready to go out. And there's loads of stuff ready to go at this time of year. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, folks. And we will hopefully see you on the next one. Bye for now.